This is not just another video on yet another meme coin. This is a video talking about how to get potential multiple X returns on various cryptocurrencies. So you can't just buy Bitcoin and expect a 100X from here. You also can't just buy any small random meme coin because very often those go to zero. So the big question is how to find a balance. How can we time something that has potential nice upside, but at the same time where we don't get rug pulled too often. And I wanna talk about this in the context of the I'm not a cat token, a Solana meme coin that I bought over here and sold for roughly 2X in the span of one and a half days. Now every day there are hundreds of new tokens that get launched on all kinds of chains and very often most of those tokens don't do well. The question is how can we filter this down? I believe one very nice way to filter this is to look at what the smart money is doing. Sometimes it's very successful wallets that used to do very nice trades in the past and potentially will do them in the future again. Sometimes that's influencers that aren't maybe that smart, but that have a strong following. And when they buy something and they promote it, a lot of other people might buy as well. And so that's why here in premium in the Bitcoin strategy premium channel, we try to find wallets of all kinds of influencers or influencers on Twitter or of influencers here on YouTube. And with that, we discovered that one of the members of Crypto Banter, one of the largest channels on YouTube, we found out that he bought the not cat token on Solana and that was for 0.05 cents. So I then in a dedicated channel, the Gerhard Trade channel, told our community that I bought some of this that was over here. Now trading those kind of tokens is a game of risk versus reward. We're risking pretty much all of our money, but the question is how high is that risk? How high is the probability that we're going to lose all of that money? The reward has to be super, super high because we want to make our multiple X returns. We want to make in case we are right every now and then to get multiple Xs. And so the first thing we have to look at is liquidity. How much liquidity is there in a token? And for this, I use DexTools.io. And when the liquidity is below 1 million and the number of holders isn't yet above 3000 or so, then we can pretty safely assume that three, four, five X at some point might be possible. There is a problem with rug pulls though. A lot of those tokens simply get launched for the developer to then take away all of the liquidity. Thus, what we want to look at again here on DexTools.io is the security score over here. So we can click on check audits. We can see that for this specific Solana token, quick Intel had been run. It's not a honeypot. So honeypot means that you can buy the token, but smart contract doesn't allow you to sell it anymore. There's no information on the buy and sell tax, but we can get this from other sources like Dex Screener. And there's nothing that's alarming over here. We also want to see some kind of marketing, right? That this is not just a contract deployment, but there's actually some kind of project. So a website is always nice. A Twitter is a definite must. It also often explains the meme. So in this case, not cat is derived from a hearing of a trader during the GameStop frenzy, right? When the GameStop trading was halted. So in this particular case, the reason why this meme coin took off was because of GameStop. I was hoping for Run Neuner to actually promote the meme coin on his channel. That unfortunately did not happen this time. Sometimes we do see this, as in we do see influencers buying a token to then afterwards talk about it on their YouTube to then push up the price. So this is what this game is all about. It's about figuring out how much attention there currently is on the token and if that attention is growing. So seeing continued videos on the YouTube channel is nice. Seeing 610 subscribers here is nice as well. I am not sure if all of those subscribers are legit because that would mean that almost every single holder subscribed to their YouTube. Not really sure about that. Token distribution is another important factor, right? When one wallet holds a lot of the tokens, they can dump the price. Very often we have to unfortunately work with tokens where the distribution isn't that equal. Once we do see a freshly launched token with a very even supply, that's also simply just manipulation most of the cases. The more information we have, especially the more exclusive information we have that most people don't have, the more we can potentially generate alpha because we can then potentially estimate trends better. And I personally like to use my Dune Analytics tool. It's also available in premium down below the bitcoinstrade.com. What we can see here, for example, is the number of first time traders versus recurring traders. And when the number of first time traders is exceeding the number of recurring traders, we tend to have an expanding investor base. And that's what we want, right? We want the price to go up because more people jump on this. Once this flips, right? Once the number of recurring traders is higher than the number of first time traders on a given day, 
that's bad. You don't want to see this. You want to exit at least partially once that happens. Yeah, the same numbers, but based per hour. Two massive inflows of first time traders. In the recent few hours, the first time traders didn't exceed recurring traders that much anymore. Trading volume by trader segment is also very interesting. It would actually be better if the number of medium sized retail would be growing as a fraction of all of trading volume, because that would tell us that potentially the somewhat smarter money is getting into this a bit deeper. So this is how I see crypto. Crypto is a game of luck and skill. And the people that have a lot of skill, they also tend to amass a lot of capital. So when the skilled people, the heavy wallets, they tend to buy something, I am listening. Unfortunately, in this particular case, small retail is still dominating this token and it's not declining. This whole meme coin trading is of course player versus player. Now when the market in aggregate is expanding, that's good because then we've got new capital coming in. So it's existing players versus new players. That's potentially a source of alpha. It's easier to beat the market that way. And yes, the total value locked in the last month did increase on the Solana chain quite a bit. So it doesn't make sense to trade Solana mainly. However, when we look at the stablecoin market cap over time, that's unfortunately stagnating since the 24th of April so almost a month now so in aggregate people aren't depositing their fiat into centralized exchanges anymore right what would happen otherwise is that when you send your fiat to Binance for example that Binance sends this over to Tether Tether then creates tokens then this chart goes up Unfortunately, we don't see that. And yes, there is some correlation between this line going up and all kinds of asset prices going up, especially meme coins. So I've sold my not cat tokens. It's very important not to get married to those short term trades. It's very important to just ride the waves. I don't know where the price will be going, but I'm looking rather for the next opportunity. I'm looking for an influencer or for a successful trader to buy something very small to then potentially copy trade this. If it's your first time here, feel free to subscribe. I publish here regularly. A like would be very much appreciated as well. It helps the channel grow. If your crypto portfolio doesn't yet justify an expense in premium, there's also a free telegram. The link is as well down below.